Good morning children. How are you? I hope you all are fit and fine at home. Children, in our last class, we have started pronouns. We have done the definition of pronoun. And uh, I have also discussed two types of pronoun that is personal pronoun and possessive pronoun. I hope you all have written in your grammar copy. Now children, today I will, um, I will discuss the rest types of pronoun. Now, let's see. Now pronouns can be divided into numerous categories. Okay. Uh, first is personal pronoun, possessive pronoun. We have already done these two. Now, today we will do indefinite pronouns, relative pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, intensive pronouns. Now, children, this intensive pronouns is also known as emphatic pronouns. Then interrogative pronouns and reflexive pronouns now let's see our next pronoun indefinite pronouns what do you mean by indefinite pronoun by the name itself uh, you have, must have understood indefinite which means which is not definite okay so indefinite pronouns don't point to particular nouns we use them when an object does not need to be specifically identified. As such, it can remain indefinite. That is not certain. Okay. Uh, what are those pronouns? Under, uh, they include few, everyone, all, some, anything, nobody, anyone, somebody whichever whoever other something nobody now children here you will see that the pronouns which are uh, given here are not definite it is not pointing towards any definite person okay now let's see some examples then you will it will be clear to you all now see First example, would anyone like a coffee? Now here you see the pronoun anyone. It is not pointing towards any particular person. Okay. It is not um, pointing towards any definite pronoun. Okay. Now say next pronoun, uh, next example. Take whatever you like. Jemmy took one cookie and Ben took the other. Now here whatever is a indefinite pronoun. Next example. Whoever owns this is in big trouble. So here what is the indefinite pronoun? Yes, whoever. I want someone to move this now. Now here, what is the indefinite pronoun? Someone. Okay. Most wealth is held by a select few. Now here, few. Few is the indefinite pronoun. Everyone is here already. Now here it is pointing towards everyone. It is not pointing towards a definite person or a particular person. I don't have any paper napkins. Now here, what is the indefinite pronoun? Any. Can you bring some? And the last one. What is the indefinite pronoun? Some. Now, children, all these pronouns you will underline in your notebook. 
Now, our next pronoun is relative pronoun. Now, what do you mean by relative pronoun? Relative pronouns are used to connect a clause or phrase to a noun or pronoun. We often see them when we need to add more information. For example, who, whom, which, whoever, whomever, whichever, that. Now, these are the relative pronouns which are used to connect to clauses or to phrases. Okay? Now, let's see some example. The driver who ran the stop sign was careless. Now, in this example, you will see it is connecting to clauses. Okay? Who? It is connecting with who? Now, next is, I don't know which pair of shoes you want. Here, what is the relative pronoun? Which? Take whichever ones you want. Here, what is the relative pronoun? Whichever. No, not that one. So, what is the relative pronoun? That. Okay, children. Now, let's come to the, our next pronoun. That is intensive pronoun. It, uh, it is also known as emphatic pronoun. Emphatic pronoun means, means when we give emphasis on something, emphasize something or giving stress upon something. Okay? Now, intensive pronoun emphasize or intensify nouns and pronouns. Typically, we find them right after the noun. They are intensifying. Okay? If, when in some sentence, you must uh, have seen, we put stress upon some words. Okay? Now, these pronouns typically end in self or shelves. You will find those pronouns ending with self or shelves. When they are singular, it will be self. And when it is be plural, then shelves. Now, see the example. They are myself, himself, herself. Now, these are singular pronouns. Okay. Now, themselves. Selves, it indicates plural. So, it is plural pronoun. Themselves. Itself, again singular. Yourself yourselves now yourselves is plural ourselves now we will see some example i myself like to travel now here you will see that uh, uh, it is giving stress on i I myself, I and myself is uh, both are um, both uh, the pronouns we are using for I. Okay, for the same person, but here it is uh, to give emphasize the pronoun we are using myself. So myself is a emphatic pronoun. He himself is his worst critic. Now here also you will see he is all uh, he and himself are used for the for the same person, okay for the third person pronoun, but uh, to give emph emphasize this pronoun we are using himself. Clear children? So himself is a emphatic pronoun when we give stress upon the same person we use some. Uh, Intensive pronouns, these are him uh, such as myself, himself. Okay, now here you see, she approved the marriage herself. So, herself is the emphatic pronoun. We went to hear WB Yeats 
himself speak so himself is used for wb eats only but to give stress here we are using himself okay now let's move towards another pronoun that is demonstrative pronoun children you know demonstrative pronouns means uh, to point out towards anything pointing out towards anything okay uh, point and demonstrative pronoun takes the place of a noun that's already been mentioned they can be singular or plural they there are five of them what are they this that these those such okay these pronoun actually we use uh, instead of noun to point towards something okay now for example these are ugly now these these are ugly these is a demonstrative pronoun it is plural okay those are lovely now those is pointing towards some um, object that uh, those are uh, which are lovely so those is a demonstrative pronoun don't drink this so here it is pointing towards something through the pronoun this such was his understanding so here what is the demonstrative pronoun such now let's see our next pronoun interrogative pronouns interrogative pronouns do just what they say they work in sentences that are posing a question they are suppose um, you must have seen some interrogative words for example what where to what why we use this to impose a question okay who whom which what whoever whomever whichever whatever these pronouns are used to pose a questions to ask questions okay now example who is going to arrive first next what are you bringing to the party which of these do you like better whatever do you mean okay so uh, i think it is clear here who what which and whatever is the are the interrogative pronouns now let's move towards another pronoun that is reflexive pronoun now here reflexive pronouns are similar to intensive pronouns okay the difference between the two is that intensive pronouns aren't essential to a sentence says meaning meanwhile reflexive pronouns are also they are used when the subject and the object of a sentence refer to the same person or thing these pronouns end in self or shells so the reflexive pronouns is also same as emphatic pronoun but uh, there are some difference between these two here in reflexive pronoun the uh, as a, um, sentences meaning are uh, means aren't essential to a intensive pronouns aren't essential to a sentences meaning whereas reflexive pronouns have some meaning okay let's see some example then it will be clear now see what are the reflexive pronouns same thing as you have read in um, emphatic pronoun myself yourself himself herself itself ourselves uh, yourselves themselves etc okay now let's see some example i told myself not to spend all my money on new shoes okay so here myself is a 
reflexive pronoun in emphatic pronoun when we we are giving stress upon the same person we are using just after the subjects for example i myself told not to spend all my money on new shoes then it will be emphatic pronoun but here you see i told myself not to spend all my money on new shoes it is giving stress but it is not so strong as emphatic pronoun okay you are going to have to drive yourself to the restaurant today so here also yourself is the reflexive pronoun means it is reflexing towards the same person you okay yourself is reflecting towards the same person you that who is going to drive okay now let's see another example we gave ourselves plenty of extra time here also you see uh, who gave uh, extra time we now to uh, this uh, pronoun ourself is reflecting towards the same person that is we they bought themselves a new car so here also what is the reflexive pronoun themselves clear now children uh, the pronoun chapter is over i hope that you all have understood uh, pronouns and types of pronouns you all will write it down in your english grammar notebook and i'm giving you some assignment also as homework you will do these questions also the first question i have given you a short paragraph here you have to uh, underline what are the pronouns in this uh, in this paragraph okay and uh, beside this i'll also give some more questions to solve okay as homework okay children thank you